Ready? Okay. Uh, what I like to do is show you how to solve this logarithmic um, or equation with logarithms. So what we're going to do here is we have two logarithms. And if you remember when solving for x's and y's back in the day, you all remember when we had like multiple x's? We had to combine them together, right? And solve for one x. Well, here we have a, you know, we have two logarithms. So we have an idea of what to do when we have two logarithms, and that's to use condensing to combine them down to one single logarithm. So I'm gonna use the property logarithms to condense this. So I'm gonna say log base four of x divided by x minus one is equal to one half. All right, and remember whenever you subtract, you can re subtract two logarithms, you can rewrite that as a division problem. Then from here, I have log base four of x divided by x minus four equals 12. So there's a couple things I could do here. One, I could transfer it to logarithmic form, or the other one is I could take, um, exponentiate each side of four. So what I could do here is there's kind of two different ways I could solve this. I could one, transfer it to logarithmic form, which would be four, raised to the one half equals um, yeah log I'm sorry equals geez I'm getting messed up equals x over x minus one or what we could also do is I could use my one to one properties and say four of log base four over x times x minus one is equal to four to the one half power now since they're at the same base I can cancel them out I'm sorry, I don't cancel that out. These four raised to log base four will cancel out. So I'm just left with x over x minus one equals four to the one half power. Now, the other thing you have to remember is four to the one half power is the same thing, which we call the square root of four. So therefore this answer is two equals x over x minus one. Since these are the same thing, I'm only gonna solve this side. So um, here's where we're at right now. So now we have a rational expression equals two. I need to get this x off the bottom. So I'm gonna divide by x minus one on both sides. Therefore, those will cancel out over here and I'm left with two x minus two equals x. Then I subtract the two x and I get negative two equals a negative x, divide by negative one, and I get x equals a positive two. Then I go and check that back, and will that give me positive answers for both of mine? And you can say yes, log two and two minus one is one, so therefore since both positive, um, this is a real solution to my function, and that's it.